Do you experience nagging pain and discomfort here in the SI joint? Then stay tuned as I show you how to alleviate this problem from home. Hi, I'm Christopher Brenner with the Muscle Doc Method. These stretches and exercises are going to target tightness and stiffness that may be leading to SI joint pain and dysfunction. So the first exercise we're going to do is just more of a light warm up just to get the hips and mobility movement uh, going before we get started with the exercises. So we're just going to simply bring the both of the knees up to a 90 degree angle and we're just going to kind of windshield wiper them to the side. We're going to hold this for three seconds, three, two, one, and then we're going to go ahead and bring it over to the other side. We're going to hold it for three, two, one, and we'll bring that back. Again, this is just a nice little warm up before we get started with some of the muscle activation and resistant uh, uh, exercises we'll be doing. Let's go ahead and bring it to the side again. Good. Three, two, one, and let's bring it to the other side. Good. And let's bring it back to a neutral position and bring your uh, legs to the floor. So this next exercise is called a push pull. It's kind of a wax on, wax off uh, 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 type of action. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring both of the knees up again. And what you're going to what you're going to do is you're going to place one hand right here on the fist, and this hand is pushing, while this hand over here is pulling. And what you're going to do is resist each movement. So she's pushing with this hand and pulling with that hand while giving resistance with the legs. And what she's feeling right now is a nice deep stretch and pork in that SI joint and activating that. Good. And let's go ahead and stop. And we're going to switch sides. So this side we're going to push and this side we're going to pull. We're going to hold that for five, four, three, Two, one, good, and relax. Let's bring that down. So what we're gonna use is a, a band. You can actually use a belt as well, but we're gonna go ahead and bring this, uh, put this on over the feet. And we're gonna bring it down just below the knees right there. Good. And we're bringing the legs up to a 90 degree position. And what you wanna do is squeeze the legs outward Good. And what we're engaging is back and you'll feel that tension in that SI joint and the glutes being activated. Good. And we're going to bring it out and we're going to hold it there for five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. And our next uh, exercise, what we're going to do is you can either use a foam roller. I have a, uh, a ball that has a bit of a give to it, but you want something firm to be able to resist uh, your inward pressure. So what we're going to do is put this in between the legs and we're going to bring the legs up to 90 degrees. Good. And what you're going to do is go ahead and squeeze it and we're going to hold that position for five, four, three, two, one. Good. And let's go ahead and squeeze and hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Good. And relax. So this next exercise, you can use it with a foam roller, or if you're at home and don't have access to a foam roller at the moment, you can actually use uh, a can. And then what you're going to do is take a towel and we're going to just simply roll that up. And we have a homemade foam roller. <laughs> so let's go ahead and lift our weight up and we're going to place that right there on the sacrum and I'll have you adjust that. Perfect. Good. Now we're just going to simply bring the knees up right there and we're just going to gently roll back and forth on that SI joint. And it's going to feel real nice because it's able to target those uh, ligamentous tissue back there and uh, some of the uh, tendinous attachments on the iliac crest. Good. And let's relax. So on this particular movement, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place the uh, padding of your thumb back on your SI joint. You're going to feel a little tiny knob pointing out 
Uh, that is your PSIS right there. And you're going to place firm pressure right there with your thumb onto that joint line. And you're going to bend this top leg. Good. You're going to bring it down. Again, feeling nice pressure inside that SI joint. Now we're going to bring this leg back. Perfect. Straight. Down. Excellent. We're going to hold it there for three, two, one. Now we're going to bring it up. We're going to bend. Okay, we're going to hold it right there for three, two, one. Perfect. And again, bringing it out, back, and down. Good. And holding it for three, two, one. Excellent. Good. And back up and down. And I think I heard a pop too. Yes. Excellent. Pops are good. <laughs> Another one I just heard. Two, two pops. How about that? And for this next exercise, we're going to come to a lying flat position on our stomach. All right. And what we're going to do is you're going to reach back towards your quad and you're going to grab the outside of the foot. Not the inside, we want to grab the outside of the foot and we're going to bring that heel to the glute. And depending on your flexibility and mobility, um, you can use a strap to help assist you, a belt to help assist you to wrap around so you don't have to uh, reach as far because we don't want to strain. We just want to get a really nice stretch going on in this quad right here because of its attachment on the front of the hip. And tight quads, is going to pull the pelvis anteriorly and downward, putting a lot of stress on that SI joint. Good, and relax. Now for this next exercise, what we're going to do is kick the feet out a little bit. Perfect. We're gonna bring our arms out to a 45 degree angle, elbows on the ground, and you're going to lift the legs up and we're going to be activating these glutes and we're going to hold this for five four three two one and relax good again and we're going to lift up for five four three two one good and bring it out and for more of a challenge you can bring your legs a bit further outwards good let's bring them out a little bit Good. Now let's go ahead and lift up and activate. And we're feeling a strong glute engagement because of its attachment on this iliac crest and this SI joint. These glutes are firing up and relax. Good. All right, and the next exercise what we're gonna do is come to a kneeling position. And we're going to sit back and depending on how your ankle mobility is, you can either come to the balls of your foot or you can come to the bottoms of your feet. But you're gonna bring your arms back and you can either put the arms on your ankles, on your foot or on the, on the floor, depending on your flexibility. And then you're gonna push that hip upwards. Push that hip upwards and out, and boy, oh boy, are we feeling a nice quad stretch right there. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna bring this back up so we're not getting so much bend in that pelvis, but we're still keeping this quad engaged right there. How's that feeling? Feel it. Yeah, right? Good, excellent. And we're gonna come back down. And the next exercise, we're gonna come to a lunge. So we're gonna bring one leg up, and then one leg to a kneeling position. And then we're just gonna lean forward and getting a nice stretch. But let's not overly rotate that hip. Good, good, sink into it, perfect. Excellent, feeling a nice stretch right there, yeah? Excellent. We're gonna hold that for five, four, three, two, one, perfect. And this next exercise, we want to stretch the hamstring. So we're going to bring our right foot forward. Good. And you're going to come to the heel. And what I want you to think about is hinging your uh, hip forward, not rounding your low back, but hipping the, hinging this hip forward. And you can bring your arms to your, to, to your legs or your knees, depending on how far you can reach. It's not a competition. Good. And you keep going further. Perfect. 
Excellent. Three, two, one, and back up. Good. And the last exercise what we're going to do is we're going to do hip hikes. So you can go ahead and if you need to place your hands on a wall, you can use a wall for support or any other type of uh, structure around you. But what we're going to do is we're going to keep our hips straight and we're going to hike it up. And we're going to hold that for three, two, one, and bring it back down. Good. And again, we're going to bring it up. Hiking that up, engaging that QL. Three, two, one, and bringing it back down. Perfect, and let's go to the other side. Again, hiking that hip up, holding it for three, two, one, and bringing it back down. Good, and again. Perfect. And you don't need to bring your leg that far out. You can actually just keep it really close right there and bringing it up. Perfect. And back down. And again, we're going to do this side. Hip hike out. Good. Excellent. And back down. So go ahead and give those exercises a try and I hope they provide you some immediate relief. Now if you enjoyed this video, make my mama proud, show me some love and hit that like and subscribe button. Check out the program links below and I'll see you in the next episode.